Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do so. The link for that will be in the description box. Okay. Somebody is leaving a situation that they may have received some stability in. This person does not want to negotiate with uh, whoever this is. Now, I feel like they lifted someone up, put someone on a pedestal here, okay? And this person was unappreciative. It's like they wanted more. I did a reading where it talked about somebody was giving and giving and giving to a distorted energy, okay? Like hoping to please this person or buy this person's affection. This person was not... They were not knowledgeable that this was a contract, a karmic contract, and this person would never be complete because deep down in this person's heart, they're very vengeful. This may have been a past life soulmate of yours or theirs, possibly both, okay? They just wanted a victory. They wanted to have dominion and power over someone's choices, over someone's foundation, over someone's stability here. Now, somebody is not happy because the rightful owner of an energy, the rightful owner of something uh, is getting their just dues here. This person did not want you to be victorious. Okay. They were trying to block off a message or hoping that you don't see a message is also what I'm getting. Somebody does not want you to know that you are freed from some trap, um, entrapment. But for some of you, you may be dealing with someone that may be in jail. Maybe you just were released. Whenever you see this reading, it resonates, okay? It's meant for you if you clicked on it. Some form of this reading is meant for you, okay? Maybe this is a family member that's going through this. Maybe it's your divine counterpart. Or maybe you're just supposed to know about this energy because it may be a future event, okay? Why is victory here? So... The secret is coming out about who betrayed you. It's your time. Okay. Your dreams coming true is someone else's nightmare. That reading is popping up. Okay. So if that pops up on your timeline or if you're guided to watch it, go ahead and do so. If I remember, I'll place it in one of these information cards surrounding this reading and or on the community section. Okay. With the owls being here, this is about gossip. OK, this could be about social media for some of you. Somebody was in a dark place. They were trying to curse someone to a dark place, set someone up. But this somebody wanted somebody to feel restricted. They wanted someone to face a lot of obstacles, but every obstacle that was put in your path, you overcame it or you are um, being guided in a way where you can overcome it. OK, for some of you, you are uh, I'm hearing following the blueprint of someone that came before you, whatever that may mean for some of you, you're going to. Uh, meet with someone there could be this could be something in social media um, it could be a group chat okay I'm hearing something about the radio I don't know if somebody's getting a contract a free agent something is going is, is something somebody felt like you they placed all these obstacles in your path that you weren't going to make it but somebody was freed here Possibly by a message. Maybe you heard a message, you seen a message, and you were able to. Um, oh, I'm, I'm hearing overt. I don't know. You were able to, if that's the right word, avert uh, a situation. You were able to avoid something uh, sinister, a dangerous situation taking place here because you caught wind of it, is what I'm getting. This has something to do with a masculine energy. Somebody could be gossiping about it, or this is someone that was a part of placing an obstacle on your path because they didn't want you to be in this energy of joy. If this is not you, this is a um, like if this is 
If this is not you as a feminine energy, this is about your feminine energy, okay? Or your feminine, your divine counterpart. Why is a minion here? Cross. So, we got Aiku there, which is an um, uh, indication of an un unalive situation. And then we have the cross here, okay? We're talking about burdens, okay? Scapegoatism, dogma could be a form of trial and tribulation, but I feel like somebody's having to retreat from doing something, refrain from doing something. They may be getting blocked. There could be an official person that is uh, being sent by the divine here. Yeah. Because some sort of betrayal here. Somebody may be finding out that they were double-crossed by somebody that they were married to and or somebody that they loved, Right. Won't be nothing new for the people that resonate with these energies, okay? If this is not you, be happy, okay? Grievance, why is this here? Somebody's definitely regretting their, their uh, choices here. But, you know, if you are a generational curse breaker, you are meant to awaken people. And that's the form, that's... That's a form of doing it here. People wanting to place burdens on your back, scapegoat you, nail you to the cross and things of that sort. Um, in a way you help them, you may you may not feel like you do, but you're definitely doing it. With the grievance card being here, somebody has a destructive nature. They do not operate from their heart space, but I do feel like there may be Someone that feels isolated or someone that is isolated that is thinking about some sort of altercation or argument that they may have had. OK, this person was operating from their subconscious fears with the moon card being here. This is also telling me that somebody's intuition is heightened. They're very emotional at this time, so they may even be shedding a couple of tears. Now we're going to go ahead. Why is this official person here? 7.22 on the clock and another card. Going. <laughs> All right. So we have the garden. So, uh, you know, this could be about somebody's investments. Um, what they invested in, something that they thought was a secret. But this is something that's taking, a, taking place in the community, okay? Um, somebody, there could be a meeting here that happens in like a public place with the garden being here. Somebody may have been taken away in public. Yeah, because they were under some sort of illusion or intoxication, it could also have been like a house fire or something like that. This is definitely surrounding an illusion having to do with a contract, whether if it was a marriage or like uh, something written on paper, like an actual contract. Why is the child here? So, for some of you, this is a new beginning. I do feel like somebody's getting some sort of notification. Having to do with somebody that was trying to dominate a situation. Okay. There could have been an argument. Somebody thought somebody was whipped. I don't know. Somebody may have... Like filed a false, so I don't know why I'm get this false police report. They may have said, or maybe somebody was like disciplining their children. But for some of you, this this is like an argument. I don't. It's hard. I'm gonna have to um, clarify that more. Somebody wanted somebody to pun to feel punished for some reason. Okay, somebody may have paid someone to lie and say someone was. Harming children. Yeah. With the child here. Yeah, conjure. Yeah, somebody wrote a false police report. Somebody may have wanted somebody's child 
because they receive an inheritance. So this person was trying to backdoor their way. Um, yeah, and this is why they're being investigated here. Like this person ain't too, ain't too, ain't too smart. Poverty, why is this here? Yeah. So, somebody may be waiting for some sort of response. This person may have filed a police report or paid someone to do so. And they're waiting for it's like they're waiting for you to get locked up for something that you didn't do. But we got the sun card here. Somebody wanted somebody in poverty, but this person is not in poverty. Okay. I'm hearing they're not going to be in poverty either. What is this about? There's a completion here. Look, I'm hearing somebody's underhanded tactics. Yeah, there's a void of some uh, uh, contract. Somebody just wanted a new beginning. So this person wanted to get somebody's child. Somebody could be getting locked up for what they did in regards to a child. I picked up an energy of somebody trying to claim somebody's child a couple of readings ago. Uh, there's a lot of different... Um, Scenarios this is playing out in negotiation in reverse. Why is this here? We got someone from your past or this person's past. Okay, so they were trying to bring you down. This may have been some sort of conversation that took place on a media platform or behind the scenes. Would be so good that they can't ignore you. Somebody may have wanted people to isolate you. I won't. Well, they wanted people to not patronize your business. If you're a content creator, they didn't want someone to watch you. This is, for some of you, an absent parent. Like, or maybe they had no home training or, or something like that. If this is not somebody that you have a child with in the past that is a deadbeat, whether if it's a male or female, this is someone that has no home training. This is someone from your past. This person you ended something with or they ended something with you. But I'm curious why great fortune is here. Okay. Why is great fortune here? Someone wanted you to feel like you didn't belong, but you always felt like you didn't belong. Anyway, we got, yeah, free spirited. So somebody is perturbed here because they wanted you to feel strange, weird. I don't know why I heard freakazoid. Okay. We got trying to fit in here. Feels like you don't belong here. So somebody wanted you to feel like you didn't fit in. This person could be stalking your social media platform. They were having fun doing it. They may have been with somebody like they have. They were with someone else doing this as well. So whatever it is you do, it could have been a hobby turned into a business. Somebody watched you build something. You became this privileged lady. Whatever they paid for or attempted to do, it didn't work. It only put eyes on them. People were watching you be placed are people cursing you or something like that? Okay, so we're we we're we're talking about an ending. Somebody's in grief, but joy in reverse, because they wanted you to be in, they wanted you to be complete with ten of air here. Okay, this is somebody that you may have rejected. Someone that feels rejected. That was with with someone that you know or you may not know that was in secret competition with you. Why is mountains here? This may have been someone that um, had someone and you may not have known it and they ended something. Maybe they ghosted you. We got the elect ones on the throne of 
of uh, glory. Open your eyes and recognize. So what I'm getting, because this is clarifying the mountain, is you were in this rough place. Okay. The whole 40 days, 40 nights. And for me, um, when the Bible talks about 40 days and 40 nights and being tempted by the devil, somebody was a curse was placed on someone. OK, this curse could have been something that you came into this paradigm with. But for some of you, somebody actually tried. I'm here double curse or double cross. So. You already felt burden because you are a generational curse breaker, but not only that, somebody got enjoyment off of you feeling down. This person thought that it would break your heart to be rejected. Maybe that was something that you came in this lifetime to heal from rejection. So that's telling me that you've had a lot of people walk away from you, from you. However, this person that came up against you, what you share in, in common is they have a fear of rejection. So they wanted to place an obstacle on you that they felt like they themselves couldn't overcome with the elect ones on the throne of glory. Open your eyes and recognize your worth was hidden from you and this person. So something had to be released. You had to go through this, these trials and tribulations. You were dealing with someone that. I'm hearing a know-it-all, but they may be very popular. They may come from affluence again, okay? Somebody may have been paid to walk away from you, depending on who you are, or, you know, because we, we got, I get around. I get who and what I want. So if some of you, this has something to do with a soulmate. This person has options. They treated you like an option. But we have intervention in a dispute. So that tells me somebody's uh, spiritual team came through. Oh, most, most definitely. So something's going to be realized by the end of the day. Or at the end of this whole uh, scenario here. Having to do with lack. It's like what's hidden comes is, is for everybody to see. Somebody didn't want to be in poverty. Somebody wanted you to be in poverty. We got the snake and we got the divine feminine. So you're getting a message from a snake or a snake was involved in trying to block a message. Could be your downloads. This person is receiving a tower moment or they didn't predict. Maybe they were trying to predict an outcome, but you were freed from some sort of entrapment here. This person, and I've been getting this for a couple of days, wants to know if you know they are a part of it. And for some of you, you definitely do. If you don't know going forward, pay attention because you got, you're going to have signs. It's going to be number synchronicities. It's going to be billboards, uh, things on license plates, like things that if you are tapped in, you're going to recognize. And that's also like a form of breaking some sort of spell, some sort of illusion is also what I'm getting. With the conjurer being here, it's most definitely a snake, but this is someone that is charming. They do deal with elements. They also deal with temptation, but betrayal is their forte. Okay. There was some sort of deceptive message is what I'm getting. Somebody's going to have to get grounded with the anchor being here. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a heavy. Maybe they tried to place this a heavy burden on you. I'm hearing like never before. Why is the cross here? We got someone that. Yeah. So somebody tried to do a, a, a burial uh, thing on you. Yeah. The succubus energy, which is uh, like a Lilith type of energy in a low vibration. So this is someone that wants to be you, wants to be like you. They embody all the four queens and the high priestess, which is the snake in this reading, in the reverse. Okay. However, when you are divine feminine, divine masculine, it's a balanced energy. 
It's not just high vibrational. It's balancing. It's know when to say no, know when to have your guard up, knowing when to stand up for yourself. Okay, and sometimes you, your your vet, your your voice got to get deep. You got to you got to let people feel it. You got to feel it. And if you're a man, sometimes you got to know when to let your feminine energy reign supreme. It's a balanced perspective, but this is someone that's very forceful. Again, that's going on top of the heart chakra card. This is someone that's very codependent. They're jealous and they're lack, they lack empathy. This is the person here that is having to lean on faith. They're needing to be centered here. I'm here at acquisition. I don't know what that's about. So somebody may be realizing that they are with the, a distorted version of you. Someone that uh, you have a past life with. This is why this person has such a hold on you this lifetime. So we got somebody that's deep in prayer. Okay, they feel like there's unfinished business. This could be a high priest type of energy, a spiritual gatekeeper. Somebody also may be having um, light body activations, headaches. Okay, they may be things may be in, being revealed in the dream state. Why is the whip here? I keep getting somebody's going to get a notification. That's all I have. A fight. So somebody was fighting over a children. A child was fighting. It has always been you. They just didn't see it. So whoever this person was that was trying to dominate you, I feel like they were trying to block off someone from seeing your messages, getting your messages. Uh, they were trying to block a contract. This person is definitely stressed here. Okay. Somebody was abusing their, po uh, their power. We got be a nice human, teach, love, and inspire. So this was the contract that you had with this person. To balance the energy, possibly. Again, you may have a karmic contract with this person also. Whether if you know them or not. Are all parties involved here. Okay. Thoughts, why is this here? The cat trick, the hat, missed opportunity, year of the rat, and every 12 years. So this is somebody that be, however many years they've been doing, this is how many years they're going to be in this affliction. And they're going to text now app, and this is my catfish card. Catfish came out in the, in the last reading, so make sure to check that out. All right, we got knowledge of self. So I feel like you didn't know who you were. So they awakened, they awakened you to your infinite possibilities. Okay. Somebody knows that they trap themselves up because there's some f documentation, brother, if it um, like a text, something that can't be erased. I'm here because I'm here in the clouds with the moon card here, clouded judgment, something they did in secret. Okay. With the shadow work being here, we got law of unity, collective consciousness. So, yeah. So this could be a collective of readers or a collective of people that are highly sensitive or intuitive that um, are picking up on this imprisonment type of energy. OK, you could also you could have also seen or did a collective reading also. And if that is the case, you may have prophesied somebody going to jail, but that going to jail energy has been coming out for like two or three years now. So this person possibly thought that it was not going to happen. They were under some sort of illusion because I'm hearing built bewilderment. Why is the moon card here? Be a nice human. Enjoy today. So... Going forward, this person is going to try to do some moon work, but it's not hidden. It's like the more they do it, the more people pick up on it. And it's, it's like you build up a, a strong immune system to it. 
Okay. And this is a lesson for, for this person that they, they didn't want you to be in this energy of gratitude. And this is what you have to be. You have to stay in it. Um, because if you get low vibration, I'm not saying don't deal, um, don't, um, you know, if you're having a bad day, acknowledge it, but don't let it mess up your whole day because it's like an energy, a, a, a entity that floats around you and they do it every day. Or they do it consistently enough to where it's like pushing you to raise your vibration or to be able to perform in the midst of chaos, in the midst of chaotic energy, right? So we got karma, shame, secret, and ghost. Control, defiant, the child, the child that talks back and doesn't listen. So for some of you, this person is going to have issues with their children or they are now. Yeah, so that unexpected income is them going to prison. Maybe they were doing something to your children or to children that got them in this situation of because, um, yeah, we got a disciple here and official person. I mean, did I mean, earlier I did say if it wasn't in this reading, it was in the reading before that this this official person is someone that works uh, is a government official, but not only that, they are like uh, appointed from the divine. <laughs> so it's kind of like they could be watching this person, watching them at work, watching them. They could be watching you as well because there could be an investigation also. Leadership in reverse. I'm hearing nothing to hide, nothing to be worried about for some of you. OK, don't be sad. Look at that. Don't be sad. And interesting enough, we got the Ace of Earth here <laughs> and the Ace of Earth there. So they didn't want you to be a leader and something is unfolding about somebody's soulmate. Why is the lover's card here? Text now, I have. So somebody's lover, look, somebody's lover, false flame spouse, child's parent is catfishing people. But their energy, their energy don't lie. It's like they can only mimic you so much that this person was like trying to make meetings or trying to file police reports in your name and things like that. IP addresses do exist, right? Because I'm hearing fraudulent activities. Somebody wanted you to lose a new opportunity. All right, with promiscuity in reverse and opportunity in reverse, somebody may have wanted to like try to send. I'm hearing this main male towards you if you are a male, okay? For some of you, I mean, if you are a female, but if some of you, if you are a male, they wanted to send like a false person to you. Could be a masculine, uh, like a man, but it could be a female that's in masculine energy that is, that is going to try to seduce you. Take your money, have you in lack. You're going to realize something about this person. For some of you, you may have actually, or this person did, went into a contract with them because they had the illusion of affluence or the illusion like um, like they had something. There's a whole bunch of spare work going on here. Promiscuity, why is this here? I want you. Oh, damn. <laughs> I watch you and report back. Yeah. So somebody's watching somebody. Mm -hmm. And they're receiving karma for this. They're being watched also. Whoever this opportunist is, they're getting bad news. All right. This person may have been putting something in somebody's drink, smokes, food, opportunists. Somebody is an Uber, like they Uber or something. We got release bad habits, stressful, stressful situation, and negative thinking. Waning Gibeus. So it could be a waning Gibeus when you watch this. Something may have taken place on the waning Gibeus or something's going to happen on a waning Gibeus. Because at this point, this person is obsessed with doing whatever it is they do. Whatever moon magic spell work, whatever it is. And so I'm hearing unexplainable event again. The cat tricked the rat. Atlas of a student, nurse. 
you you are repeating the same cycle and not learning the lesson. Jedi master severe force of use, uh, severe force by use of light. So somebody's a light worker here, and it's being reflected back. It's like they they're doing them they're doing it to themselves, and they can't get out of this space. Is they're they're trapped here. This is this person's karma. Why is poverty here? Strength of God, speak your truth, birth of something new. So somebody needs to speak a truth about somebody that's in distorted feminine, it's distorted feminine energy, whether if it's a male or a female. Um, somebody needs to let go of a, a distorted energy. We got office work, feeling like you don't fit in, and community and bad news. So fitting in here, don't fit in there. So somebody thought that they got a new beginning, but what it really was a time loop. Like somebody learning a lesson through a different experience with a different person, same lesson, same energy. Community here, I'm hearing community betrayal. I don't know what that's about. But at the end of the day, somebody's heart is going to be open. Whether if you want this person or not, okay. Stay, remain open to uh, infinite possibilities, deuces.